In the previous video, we have created simple visualization to, of our floor. So when we press play and we set our parameters of the dungeon, so for example, we can set something like 100 and 100. We start at point zero zero and generate something. You can see that we have we can generate pretty big dungeon. If we uncheck the start random iteration, uh, we can generate a bit smaller space with less corridors. But what we would like to do now is to refactor this code so that we can implement new methods, new algorithms, as well as that we can generate this from the editor, since if we stop playing, the map will disappear. And we do not want that. We sometimes want to edit the, what we have created from the level of the editor so that we can create a tool for level design. So first of all, we would like to minimize the assets view and in the scripts folder, let's right click, create a new C sharp script and we are going to call it abstract dungeon generator. Okay, let's open this script up in Visual Studio. Great. We are going to delete update and start method and we are going to add abstract keyword before the class name. This will make this class into an abstract class, so we are not going to be able to create it, but we are going to be able to create an, a custom editor for this class and it will work for any child of this class, so we can create one custom editor and it will work with every other generator algorithm. So what we will have here is, first of all, a serialized field and we are going to create a protected tile map visualizer reference let's call it time up visualizer let's set it to be null okay and we are going to have also a serialized field and this will be the protected vector to int this will be the start position equals vector to int dot zero now we will have here two methods one will need to be public so we can call it from our custom add inspector so let's create public void generate dungeon and here we are going to call our tile map visualizer dot clear so we can clear always the tile map so we do not have to call it in every child class and we are going to create run procedural generation and what we will want to do here is alt enter and select generate abstract method and let's set it to be protected instead of internal and this will allow us to generate our tile map according to the algorithm that we choose and we are going to select uh, the, to call generate dungeon from our custom editor or from anywhere else to generate the dungeon itself so this will be the setup for our abstract class let's save it now we will need to open up our simple random walk generator. I have it opened in Visual Studio. And instead of mono behavior at the top, we are going to inherit from our abstract dungeon generator. Now, as you can see, we are not over uh, implementing every abstract method. So it gives us this red squiggly line. Alt enter on it and select implement abstract methods. Now we have start position inside our abstract dungeon gen generator, so we do not need to, uh, to have it twice. And again, we have tile map visualizer as well in our abstract dungeon generator. Now, if we slide down, uh, it has created for us run procedural generation, but we already have this method. So make sure that you copy the name from it and paste it in our method that we have already created. Let's delete the method below and let's add public override void and it will give us an error because we have changed the protected to be public we cannot do this so let's change it to be protected so we can only access it through the uh, abstract class and through the child classes not from the other classes great so now this should work the same way that we we have it worked from the start so let's save it let's go back to unity great now what we can do is select our button and inside our button on click event let's select it and make sure that it calls our simple random walk dungeon generator and generate dungeon now if we press play we can 
generate our dungeon and it should be generated as well uh, of course you can swap the parameters but that's not the point of this video let's stop it we are going to create a custom button inside our simple random walk dungeon generator so that we can generate our dungeon from the inspector and have it saved inside our town map visualizer so that we can edit it and create some kind of a tool for creating our levels so to create a custom inspector we are going to go to our assets folder right click create a new folder let's call it editor and we need to put all the custom editors inside the editor folder so that the unity can distinguish them and can make them run now let's open this editor folder and here we are going to right click create c -sharp script and let's call it random dungeon generator editor okay and let's open this script up in visual studio great now this will be an editor extension not a mono behavior let's delete the update and start methods and instead of inheriting from mono behavior we are going to extend uh, the inherit from editor again we need to alt enter on it and be using unity editor uh, library now to make it into a custom editor for our abstract dungeon generator we are going to add a attribute above the class name open square brackets and type custom editor open brackets type of and we are going to open brackets and type the name of our class so this will be abstract dungeon generator now of course this is an abstract class so we cannot really create it and to make it work for our child classes we are going to add before the last bracket comma and we are going to type true and you can see uh, the if true cl child classes of the inspected type will also show this editor so this will ensure that our simple random walk generator will also have a custom button let's save it but this is not the end we will need to access this abstract dungeon generator reference so let's type abstract dungeon generator and let's create a field called generator okay now we need to create awake enter and we are going to set generator to be equal to and we can access something called target which is the target of this uh, inspector of this custom inspector now since this is an object we need to upcast it to be of type abstract dungeon generator and now we have the reference to our generator that our inspector is uh, a custom inspector of so last thing that we will need to do is to create a button so what we will need to type is override as a spacebar and we should have on inspector GUI method we're going to call the base method to display all our fields from our class and at the end we are going to create if statement if we are going to use GUI layout dot button which will allow us to create a custom button in the inspector and we are going to call it create dungeon so type it in the uh, quotation marks inside the button definition and we are going to open parentheses so this if statement will only work if the button that we have created is clicked so you can see that the button returns boolean value make a single press of the button and if the button create dungeon is pressed we are going to call generator dot generate dungeon and this is the method from our abstract dungeon generator class that we have created so save it let's go back to unity great now if everything went well we should be able to select our simple random walk dungeon generator and in the inspector we should see the create dungeon button if we press it our dungeon should be created now as you can see our random walk can really be random and only walk through two spaces back and forth so what we can do is set our iterations number to like something like 100 and walk length to 100 and generate it and we have our dungeon generated now this looks pretty nice but what if we want to experiment with it and maybe set something like 20 and 100 let's set it okay this looks nice but what was the previous setting that i have set now this is an issue so what we are going to do in the next video is we are going to create a scriptable object 
that will store the values of start po of uh, iteration of walk length and of start randomly each iteration so that we can sa uh, save the presets for different dungeon that can be generated through our generator now before we finish this video you can visit unity documentation for the custom editors and you can learn more about creating a custom editor if you are interested in how it was created okay see you in the next video